In this example, we're asked to complete the table using the graph. And so as we know, we've got this function here, and we know it's a function because of the vertical line test. But I'm asked to complete this table, which means I need to fill in the x and y coordinates. Remember that x is our horizontal movement, and y would be our vertical movement. So in this first piece right here, I am given the y coordinate of negative 4, and I need to fill in the x coordinate. So I'm going to start at my origin, and because we're looking at the y, I know I'm going to move up or down because that's vertical movement. And the coordinate is a negative 4 because it's negative and I'm actually going to move down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So now anywhere along this horizontal line right here at negative 4 is what we're looking for. We're looking for the place where the function crosses that line, which is going to be right here. And so that's going to be, if we start at the axis, we're going to move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. So that would be the point 8, negative 4. So in my table, I want to fill in 8. And it is positive because we move to the right. The next space here, they give us the x-coordinate. So they've given us that horizontal movement. I need to find the vertical movement, the y-coordinate. So, I'm going to start at my origin again, and we want to move to the right because it's positive, 9 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So anywhere along this vertical line where x is 9 is what we're looking for. And we want to look where the function crosses, which is going to be right here. And we've obviously moved down from the x-axis, so it's going to be negative. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this would be the point of 9, negative 6. And sorry, I'm going to run out of room here. So I'm going to fill in a negative 6 in my table. For the last one, we're given the y-coordinate. And we're asked to find the x-coordinate. So again, we're given that vertical movement of negative 8, which means we want to move down 8 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So anywhere along this horizontal line right here is where we want that function to cross. It's going to be right here at the end. And if we count over from the axis, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that point would be 10, negative 8. And remember, the 10 is positive because we moved to the right. Right is positive, left is negative. Just like up is positive, down is negative. So I want to fill in a 10 in my table. And now my table is complete.